Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about creating a company header. This is the first thing that anybody sees anytime they look at an Xactimate estimate. It's at the very top, uh, has your information, your company name, your logo, and other information. Now, in our travels and training, we've seen a lot of variations on what a company header can look like. But in speaking to both contractors and adjusters, we have some guidelines as to what we recommend that you include in your company header. So here I have an Xactimate 28 estimate open, and I'm under the Claim Info tab and specifically under the Parameters sub tab. And down here, you're going to see the company header. Now, currently I have nothing selected, but I'm going to click this sideways drop down box and it's going to provide me with this new window. Now I have my normal header here, but I'm not going to click that because we're going to start from scratch and create a new one together. So first and foremost, I'm going to come over here to the Add button, and it gives me this window. Now the first thing to note is what profile do I want to assign this header to? Note that I have the carrier and contractor profiles on this version of Xactimate 28, and if I select carrier, then this header will only be available in the estimates that I generate in the carrier profile. If I opened up a new contractor estimate, this header would not show up as an option. So it's important to ensure that you're assigning it to the right profile. Actionable Insights recommends using the carrier profile in general, so we'll stick with carrier here. Now the first thing I like to start with is my company name. And for this case, it is Actionable Insights. Uh, fairly simple, you may have a bunch of different names, but use the name that is most uh, commonly used or branded as the company name. Now here, under Info, there's a lot of information that you can put, but there's really two things that we recommend that should be the only things in this box, and that is the address of your company, specifically the address of your headquarters, wherever you would want checks to go if you're getting paid, uh, address, city, state, zip, and then below that would be your tax ID number, your EIN number, to ensure that you uh, can get paid directly. And then this code right here, this is an internal code. This is never expressed on an estimate. It's never shown anywhere. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it AI test. Now your image. This is an important one because often people use the logo that they always use. And it could be a combination of a logo or, and text, like the company name. But we've found that combining text and logo in your image here in your header doesn't exactly provide a very clear picture. For example, you've already told me what your company name is and it shows up in big black bold letters at the top of the estimate. So there's not necessarily need to put a image logo here that also has text. So Actionable Insights. Actionable Insights has its AI Actionable Insights text logo, but we also have a smaller condensed logo that's just the eye of the insights. What am I talking about here? I'm going to click the image button and I'm going to bring up my eye logo. So now I just have the eye. So it's not the actionable insights with the eye, the full text logo, it's just the eye. Very important for branding and professionalism, really making your estimate readable uh, and exciting to review. So let's hit OK here. Let's see what happens. Obviously, I now have my new uh, header. I know it's AI test because that was the internal code that I put in. I'm going to hit OK here. And I'm going to come up to the top right, and I'm going to view a preview so you can see what this would look like. Now I have my eye logo. You know my company brand, you know my eye. I have my company name here, Actionable Insights. I have my address, city, state, zip, and I have my EIN number, for example. So this has been another exact tech walking you through how to create a company header uh, and certainly what are recommendations on what information should be contained inside that header. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.